love. This is the one thing that we seem to be lacking in in the world. Of all the things that we have, love is the most important. It is the most important fruit. Love. We ask the question, what is love? Love, to love God, is to follow his commandments. To follow his commandments. The first four commandments are about our relationship with God and loving God. The other six commandments are about our relationship with one another and how we should get along with one another. It's all about love. Even though somebody may ask you what's love got to do with it, my answer to you is absolutely everything. Everything. This love that we're talking about, this agape love, the love of God. John 3, 16 tells us, for God so loved the world that he gave. He gave his only begotten son. Can we give? our love to one another? Yes. Can we give our love to God in obedience to God's command? John, 1 John 4 and 16 said, and we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love. And he that dwells in love dwells in God and God in him. Can I get an amen? God is love. The fruit of the Spirit of God is love, and through love, the other fruits are made manifest. The other fruits are made manifest through this love that God has for us, through this love that he has given us and shared with us. They are the products of love, the outcome produced by the Spirit of love. Thank you, God. The Spirit of God in the believer's life. The fruit of the Spirit is singular. It is unconditional. It is giving. Not expecting anything in return. Love is universal. That is love for strangers. Unselfish concern for the welfare of others. There are four different types of love expressed in the Bible. One is story, which is empathy or bond that we have made with one another. Another is filial, which is for family and friends. And then we have the eros, which is romantic. But we're concerned with agape. Agape. Yes, the others will come, but the others will also leave you. Agape love you can't depend on. The agape love of God is with us forever. It is endless. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So the essence of agape love is goodwill, benevolence, welfare. It is the objective. That is the objective of that agape love. That we share this. We give this. The first John 7, 4 and 7 tells us God is love. It is the fundamental characteristic of who God is. Everything God does is influenced by love. Yeah. And then we have 1 Corinthians 13, also known as the love chapter. The love chapter, a whole chapter on love. It does not matter if we speak ever so eloquently and have no love. If there is no love, it means nothing. All right. We're sounding grass, making noise, talking loud, and saying nothing. You can have diverse gifts of the Spirit, but the fruit of the Spirit is love. Love, expressed in chapter 13 of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, is charity. So when, as it is synonymous with love, with love, this is what love does. Mm -hmm. Love suffers long right. and is kind. Yeah. Yeah. Envy of not, yeah. want of not yeah. itself, yeah. is not puffed up. Right. Love does not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own. 
is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth. Bears all things, believes all yeah. things, endures all things, hopes all things. Love never fails. Amen. Now abideth these three things. Faith, hope, and love. And I found this uh, poem entitled Love. You have heard the tales. Shall I tell you one, or greater and better than all? Have you heard of him who the heavens adore, before whom the host of them fall? Holy he left the choirs and anthems above, for earth in its sailing and woes, and sufficient and suffered the shame and the pain of the cross to die for the life of his foes. His death is our life. His loss is our gain. The joy for the tear. The peace for the pain. Dr. Henry Harper. So I ask now, Father, help your children. Don't let them fall by the side of the road. Teach them to love one another. That heaven might find a place in their hearts. Cause Jesus is love. 